6. 11 Alive News at 5 starts now. Our men and women are literally on the front lines every single day getting shot at. Top state officials meeting late this afternoon to discuss and strategize how to best stop criminal gangs. The problem top of mind following the shooting of Atlanta police officer David Rogers earlier this week. Officer Rogers is still in the hospital tonight after being shot six times on Monday. Police say the suspect in custody is a known member of a gang that has a stronghold on the Cleveland Avenue corridor in southwest Atlanta. It is where the shooting happened. Joe Hankey live at the state capitol for us tonight after talking to the governor and the head of the GBI about solutions to address the gang problem. What all was discussed here, Joe? Well, Sheba Governor Kemp attended the anti-gang network meeting to both listen and offer support from his office. Now that network is made up of state down to local law enforcement that are focused on fighting gang activity statewide. And data we received from the GBI today shows the magnitude of the problem. I mean, we're literally battling this every day all across state with GBI, whether it's prosecution, going after the perpetrators. Uh, it's just a huge issue in our state. Governor Brian Kemp, Attorney General Chris Carr, and GBI Director Vic Reynolds all on hand to discuss gang crime with state officials and local law enforcement. They heard firsthand what is currently being witnessed statewide. The Georgia gang investigators have said over 60% of all violent crime in Georgia is gang affiliated. And what's happening is gangs, it's all about making money right now. Selling guns, drugs, human beings, cyber crime, even stealing people's benefits. Any way to make money, that's what the gangs are doing. Organized retail crime. Data the GBI released this week to 11 Alive shows in 2021 GBI agents opened 446 cases connected to suspected gang crimes across 100 counties, leading to more than 170 people being charged with gang specific crimes under federal or state laws. And the issue is not simply one or two specific gangs. From July 2020 through June 2021, the GBI targeted 39 different street gangs with investigations. Many of these gangs are extensions of larger, more well known gangs such as the Bloods or Crips. In Atlanta alone, Alone, the GBI has documented around 170 criminal street gangs. The GBI's uh, gang task force is working hand in hand with both federal partners, state partners, and local partners to work these gang cases. GBI Director Vic Reynolds says the gang cases are in the Atlanta metro area, but also rural Georgia. Four years ago, while campaigning for his first term, Governor Kemp said the state needed to address gang crime. After changes on the state level for gang investigations and prosecution, Reynolds believes the state is rounding a corner. The most difficult part was convincing individuals, convincing agencies, convincing citizens that we had a criminal street gang problem. It was very difficult to, uh, for people to put their hands around it because they may not have been uh, exposed to it where they live. And the 22 year old man that's currently in the Fulton County Jail and charged with shooting APD officer David Rogers. He's been identified by APD or accused by APD of being a member of the YSL or Young Slime Life gang. We'll have a closer look at that gang and how it's an example of the larger gang problem statewide coming up at six.